I'm going to show you guys how to uh, reinstall your um, camshaft into the Harbor Freight 212cc on the clone engine. So, you know, if you had to take this apart for some reason and you're not exactly sure how you can line this up so your valves will fire at the right time and stuff um, with the stroke of your engine, I'll show you how. It's actually quite simple. And so, um, first of all, I'll show you down here. Uh, you have this little piece which rides up and down as the camshaft turns around, the lobes on it push this. And then there's a push rod up here which will um, transfer that motion all the way up to the top where there are these little rocker arms you see that push the valves in. So what you're going to do is you're going to push the rocker arms off to the side kind of like that and then you'll feed this up just like this up through um, the holes right there for the push rods so they come out right there. So I will demonstrate that with the exhaust valve push rod right here. So I'm entering it into the crankcase and then make sure you have both of the pieces all already aligned up in the um, pieces you put it up through there. So once you get it in there it won't automatically pop up the little hole there. You'll have to use something to kind of push it up, like this little wrench here, which I'm using. And so now it pushes that up, so it's going through this little hole right here and below the rocker arms, and the rocker arms are pushed away. And so that is allowing these uh, arms right here to lay flat up against there. And then now what we're going to do is take our camshaft over here and then if you look along here you can see a dot right there next to one of the teeth and then if you look along your shaft of your engine you'll see a corresponding dot right there on that tooth it might be a bit hard for the camera to see it but there's a dot right there that right there when it aligns up with this indicates that it's at top dead center and your valves will um, both be closed. You can insert this in. It's that little indent in the back of the crankcase that you gotta get it lined up into. And Sorry, it's kind of, it took a few tries for me to get it because um, I'm trying to work around the tripod right here. If they're not together, then you have it in the wrong tooth and you got to move it over. But if you have it with a dot where the dots come touching exactly there, then you got it lined up properly. So now that I got that lined up, I can go over here and you keep keep it with the. Um, two dots touching so it stays at top dead center because none of your valves will want to be pushed down so it'll be a lot easier to put the, um, the lever arms up here. So you, um, the springs on these valves are not very tight at all so you can pretty much just push it down and then slide over your uh, rocker arm and you see it'll snap right into place on top of the um, push rod just like that right there. And then if you pull these up uh, be careful not to I pull them out because they won't realign with the little indent on the push rod down below. So you'll have to restart, take out your crankshaft, and do it all over again. So make sure to just keep a little bit of pressure so it stays locked into the indent down below. So again, just press down your uh, valve spring up there by hand, and then it'll pop right over. And once it gets over the push rod, it'll lock right into place right there with the indent. And so that's good to go. So once you get your rocker arms um, latched up on there and stuff while it was in uh, top dead center, carefully put this on there because otherwise if you uh, mess up putting on there straight and you try to pull it back out, it might pop your uh, camshaft back out. Uh, go ahead and tighten it down, then pull your cord, make sure the valves operate correctly at the top. After you ensure that your valves are all working great, then you can go ahead and put your cover back on, your engine should be good to go. Okay, so thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave them down in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Bye.